Please and Wellington. Uh, good morning, James. Good morning. Well, uh, first of all, let's just get the costume out of the way. What do you reckon? Rawdon, what's your next size? Because I think I've got one for you as well. But uh, look, I think we need a size in Wellington, believe it or not. Yeah. Hey, look, um, the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra is in Wellington this week. They are uh, playing at the Michael Fowler Centre on Friday. They're playing uh, Ricard Strauss's Alpine, what was the title again? Alpine Symphony, yep. which basically is a, uh, a journey, a musical journey through the Bavarian Alps uh, in Germany. And one of the players, or one of the uh, orchestra members, Greg, I have with me, liked the music so much that he travelled halfway around the world to find an authentic Alp horn. Well, good morning, uh, Greg. Hi. Tell me, what's the backstory behind this thing? How far did you have to go to get it? Um, I went to Germany about three years or so ago to get it. I, uh, I ordered it to be built first from a very small factory in a, in a village called Eberhardzell, which is miles from the nearest railway station. <laughs> I, I got off the train and there were two people standing on the platform with a sign saying, Mr. Hill. So I got into the car, off we went into the sort of German Appalachians, it seemed, with the forest crowding in on us and... Uh, uh, trolls jumping out, etc., etc., <laughs> dueling elf horn. No, I've gone too far. Um, and uh, so there was the elf horn, and I tried it. It was such a long way from anywhere, I knew I had to buy it because there was no way of getting back to the train. And uh, yeah, that was it. I brought it back to New Zealand. Brilliant. And I've loved it since. Brilliant. Hey, well, before we go, just a quick 10, 20 seconds of you playing the horn. Yeah. Uh, but the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra is playing at the Michael Fowler Centre this Friday. Take it away, Greg. Uh...